Hey there everyone, this is Life Ray, welcome back to my playthrough of Veteran Odyssey. Today we are going to continue exploration of the third floor, and that's essentially it. I'm gonna see you guys there. Eric has grown to the almighty level 9, so we shall give him another level in Mirage for his great accomplishment. Keep on trucking. And I have returned to the healing spot. And we can now freely reign around the 3rd, 4th, and 5th floor as long as we want, as long as we don't kill Fenrir. So, that means we're going to get a lot done. Essentially, we're going to keep going and then only return back when we have a full inventory, which isn't going to be that hard, actually. So, for now, we just have to start exploring the 3rd the third floor. So, let's start with this area over here. Alright, we got... Okay, a room. Well, let's not investigate rooms just yet. Let's... Look for- see if this dead end has anything. Doesn't look like this dead end has anything, so let's go check out this room. Has a treasure chest in it. Okay, let's go ahead and nab this. Therica A, mm, not very useful at this point, but it becomes useful later. We'll hang on to it, or maybe just sell it. Could be useful chunk change, since we won't need it quite immediately anyway. So we're just gonna have to hold on to that, so let's go down for the past this hallway and see what else we can find. Double Mandrake Claw Bug Set. Now, these uh, Mandrakes do have a conditional, and that's to be killed with fire. So, if we set up a situation where we put Blaze on Ren so we can kill this thing with fire to get its conditional drop, and this is how this works. So, everyone else is defending, and fire attack, 75 damage, takes extra damage from fire, and it gives us charcoal. I don't know how much charcoal we'll need, but whenever I have the opportunity, I will slay one with fire. Supposing I have TP, and of course I can just farm TP off of the free healing spot, so that's nice. Okay, let's go down this hallway. Got a door going up, and another door at the end of the hall. Let's investigate this door at the end of the hall, shall we? It has... it's empty so far. Oh, item point. Okay, this is a take point. So put this item boy in here, label it with take, make a 3x3 three three room, and we should get out of here soon. We're about to run into another fight, but maybe there's something inside this door. So far so empty, let's just map it out as a 3x3 three three room, as it obviously is. And we run into nightmare sets. Still a nightmare, still a little hard, shouldn't be as hard anymore. Alright, continuing on, let's see if there's anything in the center of this room. Nope, anything on the side of this room. Doesn't appear like it. Alright, then let's go into this hallway over here and see if there's anything this way. Alright, another room. Let's check this one out, shall we? Should lead somewhere nice, hopefully. No, well, nothing special about this room. It doesn't look like, unless there's a shortcut on the side that I should be wary of. Let's go look at, see if there's any shortcuts on the side. Another one of these. And this is just an observation. It seems that they only, uh, the Mandrix really only like to give you charcoal if you kill th if you kill them last with the fire. Otherwise, they seem to be quite un quite unwilling to give me charcoal. So apparently, kill them as the last enemy standing, and you'll get charcoal if you kill them with fire. I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe I'm just hallucinating and getting very unlucky. I don't know. Hopefully not. Let's uh, go in here. See what's going on in here. This looks slightly suspicious. Uh, looks reasonably safe. It should be reasonably safe. I hope it's reasonably safe. Um, nothing here? Nope. How's about behind me? Nightmare set. Um, I might just have to deter myself and go back to the checkpoint, but I don't think so. We should have enough to squeeze by through here. And... There. Give that a shot. Alright, now it's just the last roller. Because I love it when he uses defend. Mm. 
Alright. Wasn't so bad. Alright, anything here? No, we got a treasure chest in here. Let's go grab that. F will respawn behind me. How should I have known that? Answer is I did know that. Um, let's see what's in here. 500 in. Not actually really worth it, actually. I knew this FOE would spawn behind us. I think it's a wolf? Maybe. Um, we have no healing with us whatsoever, but I think we'll manage. We have medicas and stuff. Rager Lope. Okay. Tornado. Let's grab a boosted Mirage. A boosted Defender. Uh, boosted Nothing will hang on, and a Bravery. Confused Gandra, that's a little inconvenient. Hurt herself for 34 damage, that's also inconvenient. Hopefully Defender will mitigate that. Um, use Drain. Yeah, it would be better for us to use Drain three times than Mirage twice. Um, front guard. Medic over there. I, don't, I didn't want her to defend, but she just did. Um, let's see. Drain again. Attack. Might be here for a little bit. Gandra needs to stop attacking her teammates because it's becoming really annoying. Oh, that should stop her from attacking teammates. Hits Gandra for 21. This just kind of proves how good Defender is even at this low level. Eric is regained to full health by a drain. Rage Lobe's kind of hurting. We should be able to finish this off reasonably well. I don't know how much longer Defender is going to last, but it should last us for a little bit. Let's try that. Hurt Linda, not really concerned about her. Is that good enough? No. And if we boost this attack, we should be able to go do this. And... It's over. Gives experience and a horn. I was hoping it would give us some deer hide or something. Let's go ahead and level up over here. What do we need? We need 24 TP before I level up a tornado some more. This should get us to 24. Oh, well, 23. We're going to have 24 by our next level, so we can start leveling up Tornado again soon. Or was I supposed to put a Tornado level that... Yeah, I was supposed to level up Tornado again. Oh, well. Um, anything else? Defender to level 5. And Linda... Revive to 1. Alright, I'm going to head back to the healing spot. Bravery to 6. Yeah, two people died, but we are approaching the healing point, and we can continue exploration. Inspiration, exploration. Let's explore the side area next to the FOE. And nothing here. Does the... Okay, there's the Cayutha. He's a little bit off. And this set again. Eric grew to level 10. Let us give him even more levels in Mirage. Because he deserves them oh so much. And let's get some cures around here. Awesome. Um, I don't want to fight Cayutha if I can avoid it. So let's uh, wait for him to turn around. There we go. Now that we walk on these spaces, he'll, um, he'll be visible to us at all times. Um, this over here is a death trap, I do believe. It just dead ends. This set, again. Yes, the game is very picky about when you get charcoal. 
Um, the game will only give you charcoal if the fire attack is the last attack you do, so you can never get more than one charcoal at a time. Or maybe I'm just unlucky, I swear. So, let's go up here. Nothing. Alright, yeah, this is a death trap. Let's get out of here before Kyo uh, Kyutha gets too caught up with us. Dead ends as well. Alright. To the next dead end like area. Okay, we got another long hallway that we haven't investigated. Kind of running out of these. Uh, let's see. Nothing up here. Oh. And this looks like this is going to dead end. Maybe there's going to be something at this dead end, hopefully, maybe. And nothing. Darn. Um, that's almost everything here. We have one last spot, I think. You like Ayutha that we haven't explored? Alright, let's go there. And we're gonna be on our way down this dead end. Ayutha doesn't seem mad at me, so that's always a plus. Let's see what's here. Nothing. Looks like we've cleaned this out how we're doing on item space. We'll have about 11 slots left. Um, I'm going to go visit the healing spot one last time. Level 11 here, we got, um, 24 TP. It's time to start rolling up to, uh, to maximum tornado. It's gonna take a while, and we're gonna be working the next six levels purely on tornado, but it's always worth it. Eric's got nothing, Ren's got nothing, Forrest's got nothing, and Linda's got something. She's getting her second level into cure. <sighs> Good times. Yep, and this corner corners out as normal. Alright, once you make one step into this direction, you're actually going to get into even harder sets. Uh, just trying to chase this up a wee down got me into this set, for example, and this is probably the most one of the most dangerous sets on the floor. Uh, we'll manage. It's not going to be that hard. Like, our three front row characters beating up on this Fender is more than enough to kill him. And then everyone's resulting attack from that should be able to kill off these guys. Should. Does not mean will. Thankfully, his poison decided to miss, and we're just going to clean him up. Floor gets to level 11. Always a good thing. Let's get this extra level into bravery, shall we? And let's send some cures around over here. And let's fight this thing. Alright, here's another Rage Elope. Let's see if we can withstand it the same we did the first one. Boosted, boosted Tornado, Boosted Mirage. Boosted Defender. We don't need you to boost anything yet. And Boosted Bravery. His scream missed. So he's gonna get a lot of his attacks being sent his way now. 55, Defender. I think we're pretty much set for this fight now that Defender's up, as long as we keep hammering him with some hard attacks. He's gonna go down in no time whatsoever. Like so. Scream missed again, so he's just doing no damage to my team. Giving me quite the impunity that I needed. And continue wailing. There's pitiful damage to the back row. And that should clean him. Yep. Alright, now let's see what's behind this guy. This guy's been hiding secrets all along. And I want to explore it. Maybe later. You say maybe later. Um, let's go with maybe later. Guys, we're out. Hoping the item space would hold up, but it didn't. Hey there, everyone, this has been Life Freak. Guys, wow, am I outroing right now? No. Shouldn't be. Three horns, ten million gum hides, short bow has access to, high boot has access to, vines, bull whip is nice, leaf coat is nice, hair tail gives us double edge, but that's not very useful, charcoal gives us access to nothing, that's always wonderful, hardwood, hard shell, small things, bug wings, soft hides, Tiny petals, beast bone, and we have all sorts of new stuff right now. We can get a few. We can get a freebie of that, and this is nice that our dark hunter doesn't use whips. Um, this is good for everyone except the lance neck and protector. 
because it's available for everyone except those two classes. And that sounds like it's for me. Alright, new in the armor department. Weapons was nothing. Armor, we have double A. These are this is good for everyone who's not using a jerkin already. Or for everyone that's not a lance knife for protector, apparently, because it's not available to them. Leaf coat is nice for our back row, except that it's not available for T's. It's only available for the magic classes. That kind of limit limits its use, and now I can get these for everyone. Let's go ahead and get two of these. Go ahead and apply those to our current characters. So that they get a speed boost as well. As minimal as that is. Let us see here. We can probably get away with three... Oh, hang on, that's not what I want. Probably get away with three of these. As the extra vitality typically helps, especially for Eric. So that's just one more defense and one more vitality for everyone who has, already has this jerk in. And it's a huge leap and bound for her. And accessories-wise, nothing new. Items-wise, nothing new. Um, looks like that's it for the day. See you guys later.